What's up UHS hardware fans? It's me Louie here today with the Smart Key Box by X-Force in front of the UHS headquarters. And I'm going to be installing this into this 2018 Mazda 3. It's going to be a really simple, really easy install just like the last one. Because the vehicle comes stock with proximity, I'm going to be able to access a few more features and functions with the app than I could with the last vehicle. I'm also going to be able to add in X-Force Universal Smart Remotes very simply and very easily with a little bit of programming from the Key Tool Max. So come with me. Let's check it out. It's going to be real easy, really fun. Come on. First tip, remove the PCB board from your X-Source Universal Smart Remote. Then insert a new battery and place it on top of the Key Tool Max. Select Remote Programming. Then scroll down to the make of your vehicle. Select the model and year that match your vehicle and the key type you need. Once you select Generate, just wait for the process to complete and then your key will be ready. Next step is to program it to the vehicle. First, insert the X-Horse Mini OBD into the OBD port. Then, either on your Key Tool Max or your X-Horse app, first select IMMO Programming. Scroll down to the make of your vehicle. Select the region and then the model. Select Smart Key System and the year of your vehicle. Then select Begin. Follow the on-screen instructions. In order to program this vehicle, we need to do a soft start of the system using the app. After holding down the Start Stop button for 10 seconds, the dash will come on and we can begin accessing the security system. Once that's complete, we're going to add a key. Current number of keys is three. We're going to continue. Once the password has been read, we're going to hit OK to continue. After seven minutes, the key tool max will be through the security system and will be able to add a new prox key without any issue. Following the on-screen instructions, I am removing the smart keys from the vehicle, stepping on the brake, and holding the key to the start-stop button. And that's it, the key is fully programmed and we're ready to move on. Up next, unboxing the smart key box. After removing the package, we're going to get out from the inside the OBD power cable, the low frequency antennas, short and long, the RF antenna, with a sticky to be placed inside the vehicle, a 10 wire rainbow connector, and this, the smart key box. After removing the screws from the front of the case, we're gonna slide this cover off and take a quick look. We'll get right back to this in just a few seconds after we get our key prepared. Take note of the locations of each of the buttons and then find the 10 wire rainbow connector and take note of which wires should relate to which button. The orange wires connect to the lock button, the yellow to the unlock button, the green to the trunk, and the blue to the panic button. Solder your connections diagonally for four pin buttons or on opposing sides for two pin buttons. On the rear of the remote, the black wire will connect to the negative side of the battery connector, while the red wire will connect to the positive side. Set the dip switch to position number two for proximity vehicles. Let's get the key box installed into your vehicle. 
Find your OBD power cable. After inserting the OBD side into the OBD connector, find the other end and insert it into the rear of the smart key box. Then find your RF antenna and screw the connector onto the rear of the smart key box. Place the RF antenna on the driver's side, either on the top of the dash or under the dash. After connecting the low frequency antenna on the back of the smart key box, I'm going to run mine to the rear of the vehicle. Up next is programming the smart key box to work with your app and any XOR Super Remote smart keys you want to use. To generate remotes for your smart key box, go ahead and select Vehicle Remote and then scroll all the way down to X for XORs. Inside, you'll find the VVDI PKE Box 445. Place the PCB board with the battery inside of it over the coil of the Key Tool Max. Once you have it in place, hit Generate. Once the key is finished generating, programming is a snap. Just hold down the learning key inside the smart key box to begin learning mode. Open up the already installed smart key box app on your phone and select connect to car. Once a connection has been established, the first button you push will send a signal to the smart key box which will confirm a connection with a simple two beeps. After you've connected your phone, go ahead and connect the remote by hitting any button. You should get two beeps as well for this. Once that's done, you can close out of remote learning and the whole process is done. That simple. Next, I'll test the remote to see if it actually functions with the door and then test the smart key app to see how it works as well. Everything's working just great. So now it's time to close up the box, insert it where I need it to go and get to testing. Now that's done, let's go ahead and check out the proximity for the keyless go and keyless enter, make sure it's working correctly. So we got our phone ready to go, on unlock, I'm going to walk away, we'll see when it locks. Okay, we got a lock, I'm going to walk back now, as soon as I get to the car. We got to unlock. That was perfect. Exactly what we need. I'm gonna go test the card now. Locked. Gives a little vibration too, so you know exactly when it's going off. It's kind of cool. All right, leaving the original here. Leaving my phone. I had the PCB board. Walking over. like that. We are unlocked. I'm going to walk away. With the PCB board, we should see the light go off as soon as I get right about here. There it is. Look at that. Proximity, lock and unlock, working like a charm. Now I'm going to test the proximity push to start function. What I'm going to do is leave the smart remote that I made as well as my phone over here. So we can all see that. The original key. I'm gonna to use to start the car now. In the car. Original key. And the car starts, so we're good to go there. So I'm gonna take this, put it over there, come back and test it. Okay, push to start, no start. Put in a break, nothing happening. So now I'm gonna go grab my phone. All right, so now I have just the phone with me here. Make sure everything's connected. We're good to go. Okay, we've got lock and unlock working. So now with this here, I'm gonna go ahead and push the push to start. Unlock. And the car starts. So as, as long as you unlock the car, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. Take my phone out of the car.
Okay, we're unlocked. Key is here. You see the key. Push the start. Proximity start. Hey. Now let's talk about setting up the app. Within the app, select the menu hamburger and then automatically set. Within the menu, set Bluetooth to automatically set. Adjust the settings until the signal matches the sensitivity you desire. Go back into the menu and select change style to pick a new look. Add and remove buttons or change icons to match other possible functions you have connected. With the vehicle share option, you're able to give somebody else access to your vehicle remotely or request access to another vehicle. You can grant access with parameters on how long the car can be driven or how many times. You can also customize your security options to make sure that nobody else can use your phone or access your vehicle without your permission and also make sure that there's no access to the app until you're ready to use it. So in truth, that was so much more simple than I expected it to be. These functions are fantastic. I truly don't know how you can get this much function and ease of programming of new keys without this smart box. I really do recommend it. Go ahead and check it out right now at uhs-hardware.com. Make sure you check out the x smart keys as well as the smart box. Get yourself one of those right away. They're definitely gonna sell out. As always, make sure you like and subscribe and are following along with us. We have all kinds of info coming out all the time. You don't wanna miss out. Make sure you're following us on all social media channels. Leave a comment down below of any new projects that you wanna see us do. It's great having you guys here. We'll catch you next time.